Hi, my name is Servan de Mol, and thank you for watching the High Tech School Information Session for Spring 2022. During this presentation, you will learn about the program High Tech School, the dates, important dates, who are the mentors, and how the program is going to be um, happening. So High Tech School is a program that has been created because of the lack of opportunities to explore computer science in high school. We strongly believe that before going to college, every student should have done some coding to know if they like it and grasp a basic understanding of the field. The program was created four years ago and has changed every year. Uh, this year, students are in groups of small, in small groups of maximum five students, and they are paired up with a mentor. All of our mentors are professional in the computer science field. They are volunteering their time for the pro this program. And some of the students are alumni of the high school program. Students will work on a specific project together throughout the semester, which will give them the opportunity to learn new skills. This is important to know that this is not a tutoring program and we are not providing access to a platform where they can work on their projects individually like we have done in previous years. So this year we would like to provide a very different experience from, for students to be able to make friends across the nation or local in California if you can help it in order to create something concrete. We do not want to replicate what they are, their learning experience from high school. We want something different and something that is highly engaging. One project will be made by an entire team. If the student is new in the field and needs to study a programming language like Java or Python, the mentor will provide documentation and websites, and uh, it will be up to the students to do their homework in between meetings. We want to encourage them to learn by themselves while having the support of the group to be able to ask questions. Every Saturday, each group of students will meet online using our Discord server. We recommend a minimum of three hours, but it could be more up to them um, if they want to meet more during crunch mode. If the group is in a different time zone, they can decide their own meeting time, but we're trying to keep everybody on the server at the same time, especially if we have special events. The students, once they have confirmed their participation to high high school, will be receiving an invitation to our Discord server where they need to follow our code of conduct and that they will use during, uh, during the Saturday to join their group in a private uh, session. The mentors will be present and they will work uh, with the students on the project during the meetups on Saturday. And they will help them, help them to define their own project, to build the programming skill. They will help them to connect with one another. They will answer questions, technical questions, um, and then more business questions, etc. The first time that they will meet is on January 29th, which is a Saturday. And um, they will meet every Saturday after that. The different groups that we have for this semester are uh, build a PC. So for this group, students will learn the skills to build their own PC. They will learn the parts needed, where to get them, how to assemble them. Students will need to buy their own parts and they can create, so that they can create uh, either a basic PC or a fancy one, depending on their needs. The goal is to have a workable machine at the end with an operating system. And um, the students will know a lot of their own machine and they will be able to upgrade it in the future. That's pretty much the goal. Sahil will be your mentor for this group. He's a former high school student and he has been in the program for several, several years volunteering with us. He built his own PC in the past uh, and is ready to share his experience. The second group is game design with Python. Um, students will collaborate to create one big game. They will use collaborative tools to mix their code. 
Uh, they will learn the basic syntax, but also data structures and classes and important concepts. We are still looking for the venture for this group, so hold on. Third group is web design. Um, so a lot of small companies or nonprofits will love to have their own website. So one idea is why not serve your community and learn great skills along the way. So for this group, you will not use a templatized website tools like Wix or Squarespace, but you're going to create a website from scratch using HTML, CSS, or JavaScript, or if the, um, the group is really advanced, they are going to learn about React. Um, so very advanced concept in web design. Kirill will be uh, the mentor for this group. Kirill is a professional web developer. He works at Cognito in Colorado and uses React for his work. Third group is robotics. This is new. Um, we have a mentor, Cameron, who will be mentoring this robotics group. Uh, he works in hardware at Tesla. And uh, basically this group, uh, they'll decide what they want to do, but it's to make something move. Uh, your team will decide what to create. It might be an Arduino project or self-driving car. It's really up to you. And finally, we have one group for artificial intelligence. Uh, so from data science to learning algorithm, AI is being used everywhere. So this group of students will explore what exists in the AI algorithm world and the importance of data and they'll create a project that might create an impact out, out there. Uh, we're happy to welcome Emmanuel as a mentor for this semester. Emmanuel is a former Hack High School student and is passionate about AI. So what do the students need? Uh, they do not need any money. Um, if they are building their own PC and they're having a hard time purchasing the different parts for their PC, we would encourage the, the students to let us know. We might be able to help, but to join this program and to learn groups and to use the time of, um, of Code for Fun and for the mentors, uh, we're not asking for any tuition. However, uh, parents, we are uh, welcoming donations. Uh, this will help this, the um, the program to keep on going because it's not free to us. Code for Fun is a nonprofit organization. So if you are in the capacity of being able to help, we will greatly appreciate any donations so that we can continue having this program for free. The students will do need their own equipment, their uh, connection, a connection to uh, get into our Discord server. So Wi-Fi connection, internet connection. And um, again, if the students are struggling and being able to get uh, a machine, we encourage them to contact us. We might be able to donate or to find somebody who can donate a machine for them. But we do need also their time and commitment. Uh, so not only during the meetups, but in between, you need to have time to learn. Um, is if you want to understand if computer science is made for you, you need to put the time in and uh, we recommend at least five hours minimum per week. Uh, think about it as if it was a class that you were taking in high school. You have your class time, but you also have some homework. And so we need you to, to have that in mind. So again, three hours on Saturday, you will meet. Um, we are uh, set up the 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. PST time slot for now. Um, you will be on Discord server. We want to, you to, have to be ready and connect. The best way to connect with people is to have your camera on so that people feel like they're talking to somebody. Uh, so, you know, be professional and, uh, um, you know, appear uh, in a distant way in front of your group, uh, be engaged. Um, be ready to learn. Uh, make sure that you thank your mentors as they are taking the time during the Saturday to donate time for you to advise you. Uh, be able to um, connect with others, but also welcome others into a teamwork. Um, and um, basically what you will learn is how to organize yourself, how to plan, how to distribute uh, different tasks among yourselves. Regarding the timelines, um, 
so we have we would like to uh, finish on the second week of May as we know that a lot of events are being packed up uh, at the end of the year, especially for high school students. So we are starting uh, with uh, in February uh, with a planning session where the students are going to define what they are going to build, what they are going to create. Uh, they will certainly create their pitch at that moment as well. Then there'll be um, a learning phase where they're going to understand what are the things that they need to learn in order to accomplish their, their project. Um, and then along that, they will be building. Um, so uh, they will have to build and test at the same time as their building uh, as their project is uh, is being set up. They will use um, tools that are used in the industry to code and to store their code, like a GitHub server. And then uh, towards uh, April, they will need to start thinking about presentation and how to basically build a professional presentation that will um, that they will be presenting uh, and giving away uh, at the end of the program. In the second week of May, this last Saturday will be the time where they will on Zoom present their project to an audience, parents and mentors and uh, uh, peers. And they need to be, you know, this is an opportunity for them to be able to um, put in words uh, what they wanted to do, why they wanted to do it, how they did it, and what were the struggles and the challenges and how they came up, um, they came across, and basically do a demo of their product. We will be recording the uh, the demonstration, so. Um, we will and we will post it on our YouTube channel. So this is an opportunity for the for the students to basically rehearse and uh, you know come out and and being able to make a presentation. This is all part of you know becoming an adult. At some point for college for job, you need to be able to come across an audience and and make them understand what you want them to to. Um, to understand and um, basically the way you appear, the way you talk, um, the way you get to a persuasion, uh, to persuade a, a team of people that your product is, uh, is good to get funded or is uh, good enough to be sold. Uh, those are the skills that uh, business skills that students uh, need to learn. So what can these students expect out of this particular program? Well, on May 14th, um, this is uh, basically when their presentations are due. Um, they will have a, pr a presentation deck ready, and they will also create a presentation that they will rehearse. And on May 14th, that's when all the teams come together and one after the other, they present. They will also, through this opportunity, um, by able, by, by, uh, when, when you are able to commit at least one semester into an activity like this, you will be able to answer the question as of, is computer science for me or not? And that's really important because you need, there's a lot of things that you can do as an adult in your job or college. And uh, you need to select and cross out things. So if computer science is not for you, that's that's okay. Um, but commit this time to fully try it before you cross it out. And uh, maybe you will, in quite the inverse, discover a new passion and understand a little bit more about what coding is and how good you are at it. And say, you know, understand that this is something that you want to pursue. Also, the third thing is that as you work in a team. Uh, if you need some recommendation letter for letter um, and you have a good rapport with your mentor, uh, that's that's maybe an outcome that could come out from this uh, this program. Uh, ask your mentor for recommendations um, and they'll be glad to do this for you. If you need more info uh, on this program, go to www.cutforfun.com slash H2S, uh, which is short for High High School. And uh, you will find different presentations about our previous um, our previous semesters, 
and uh, you will have, you know, for example, the video on our YouTube channel for the first semester project launch. Um, and uh, if you need, uh, as parents, um, how can you support your child? Number one is make sure that uh, they do not miss their Saturday. So, you know, if you plan to go away for a trip, make sure that your student let their team know. Uh, maybe if they have a connection, uh, an internet connection, wherever you go away, make sure they don't miss their 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 set their meetup. Uh, make sure they get up. You know, sometimes the uh, students and teenagers need a little nudge and reminder to actually get up on Saturday. Um, the group counts on them. So if they are missing, that means that the, the group will be handicapped that particular weekend. Uh, you can ask them questions about their project um, to, to develop some interest and, you know, basically see how they're doing. Do they like it? If they need to learn more about coding and they're feeling stuck, they're feeling it's hard, know that Code for Fun has a program called Code with a Coach, uh, which is uh, located at uh, codeforfun.com slash CWC, where you can find one-on-one uh, -on -one coaches uh, or one to four coaches for your child so that they can learn very deep particular skills in program programming skills. Um, we usually let the high school students learn on their own with a mentor because there's a lot of things online that they can consume. But sometimes this model is not suited for everybody. And you actually need a little bit more coaching uh, help. And so we are able to provide that to you through a, another program. Also, as a parent, it's important to support your child by joining the presentation on May 14th. Um, this is to show their um, your commitment and you know show them appreciation for going through that. And then finally, uh, if you can, I know this is not for everybody, but if you can support the program um, by donating to Code for Fun, we are 501c3, so we will you will receive a, a tax. Uh, I mean, a, a donation letter that you can use for your tax. Um, so please consider doing that. And remember that a lot of companies are matching your donations. And so, you know, one to two, one to three, that's even better. So consider that. That's it. I would like to thank uh, uh, the mentors for donating their time and making this project possible possible. I would like to thank the parents who have donated money in the previous semester to keep this program going. We did receive your donations and thank you so much. This is such a great help. Um, so we are happy to be able to continue this program. And I would like to thank the students, um, especially the students in the uh, our alumni who have been very passionate and who have made this pro program great. You should look at their presentation and what they built in the past. It's quite amazing. Um, and they have actually created friendship among themselves. So this program is, is working and we are so happy. And so we are so um, so happy to be able to continue it.